Since GT7's 1.13 update, a lot of us were concerned, justifiably, that the cash cow method with the glitched Tomahawk PP level wouldn't work anymore. Well, leave it to the community to find within the span of about 15-20 minutes that you in fact could still use it, you just had to do a bit of a workaround. Now there are a number of different ways of doing this, so I found a method, which I'm personally using, from someone who had compiled a number of different methods, but they didn't tell anyone who they were from. So if you recognize this build, or if the person who knows who this build is from watches the video, tell me down below, because I want to put a link to that original person, I simply don't know who it is on this occasion. So of course to do this, for those of you who are already familiar with the method, you only need to watch about half the video. For those who have no idea what this is, I'd recommend watching the whole thing, because I'll show you the tune and the event. Now the obvious thing is that you'll need a Tomahawk X. You need a million credits for the car, plus some spare change for a couple of upgrade parts, but you can easily get a million just by doing stuff like circuit uh, experiences, or even doing just events in general, you'll earn that fairly quickly. Once you've got the car, come into the tuning settings. Now what I'd recommend doing first of all, if you've already got a tune that maybe was glitched and doesn't work anymore, instead of trying to alter it, just come up here to the settings sheet, create a new sheet, and then just work from you know the default settings. Then fit your racing hard tires, I would also recommend not pressing triangle until it's all done, because sometimes that can throw it off. But fit your racing hard tyres. As far as the suspension, make sure your numbers match up here. I don't recall changing anything, so it should match up. For the diff though, the fully customizable LSD, you want these numbers. So 15 all round on the front, then 15, 30 and 60 on the back as you can see. Of course it doesn't have NOS, but it does have boost. Again, sometimes people ask how to use the boost and put the wing down. All you need to do, go into your controller settings in the main menu and map it onto your controller. For example, I have it as the same button as R1, or the same button as NOS, which is R1, I should say. We'll get to the transmission in just a second. Come up here first to the ECU, set that to 99% output power. You will want the power restrictor and the ballast fitted. They are dirt cheap from the upgrade shop and they're right next to each other. You want 20 kilos of ballast, put that all the way to the front, then 99% on the power restrictor, then fit the fully customized transmission. I believe the auto setting automatically goes to 580, so that's what you want it on. Then for the individual gears, this is where the magic and the glitching really happens. So these numbers are crazy high, and you won't be able to reach those if you just go straight into it. So what you need to do, for those who are unfamiliar with it, go into first, put it all the way to the right, as high as the number can go. Then go to second and do the same thing. Now, when you go back to first gear, the number will be even higher. Keep doing that back and forth between one and two until you can get up to this level. So match those numbers as closely as you can, then fifth, sixth, and seventh, if I recall correctly, are basically untouched, as is the final drive. You don't need to touch that either. So in practice, it's still more than quick enough, just like the other tune was, to win the event easily, of course. And technically, this is actually more powerful than the tune I was using before. It's got like double the power or a thousand horsepower more or whatever. Then press triangle to measure the difference and it should jump to 592.95. Now in my case, I think it was slightly different to the tutorial I watched. So the number for you may be different. Sometimes though, I tried a couple of other methods and they did not work for me. The points were still far too high, like around 1200. So for some reason, it doesn't seem as consistent as it should be. If that does happen to you, I would recommend leaving the menu, then coming back in, see if that's made a difference. Or then try the process from the start again under a new setting sheet, making sure that you do it in the same order that I did. If that doesn't work for you, then maybe it's not going to work and then try someone else's, but I would recommend giving it a couple of tries before you give up. Once you've done that, and of course this is where most of you have used this before will know exactly what I'm going to say, to use this car, go into the world circuits. Of course you'll need to progress through the cafe missions, the main career, in other words, until you unlock the Asian region Tokyo Expressway. In particular, the event that you need is the World Touring Car 600, the final of these ones here. And of course it's 12 laps, the whole race takes less than 20 minutes, more like 16, 17 once you get used to it, sometimes even quicker for some players. And within this event, there's basically no way of losing that bonus, because if you smash into the cars, if you smash into the walls, it doesn't matter. So that's the same as before, if you do hit a car, you don't need to restart the event or anything like that. I will say though, for those who used my other tune, 
or that, you know, the other video I did, the other tutorial, you will need to approach this in a slightly different way. So you'll still want to use the manual gearbox. I would recommend keeping it in seventh gear for fuel economy purposes. And then if you've got enough fuel left, try feathering it between sixth and seventh to improve the acceleration. Also, you will run out of boost more quickly now. Before, you could basically do enough boost on all the straights to last the entire event, but now that the car's running double the power, you use fuel and boost much more quickly. So for me, I ran out of boost on like lap 10 or lap 11, not like it's slow without it, but still. And you will, unlike the last time, definitely need to lean your fuel out. So put the fuel up to like level 5, level 6, so then you'll be able to go the whole race without pitting in. If you don't, you will have to, like around lap 5 or 6. So. There's really no need to be running full power, even running the leaned out fuel. This is still about 40 miles an hour quicker than the last tutorial. That would get up around 320 miles an hour. This one's doing over 360. So the laps can be even quicker. Like in this race, for example, I was putting in minimal effort, bouncing off the walls, bouncing off the cars, getting up lap times all over the place. Even I got a one minute 11 lap. The whole thing only took like 17 minutes. So even if you just mess around for the whole race and get penalties every time, you're still going to be doing it in less than 20 minutes, which is still three times an hour. So in other words, as long as you keep your traction control on, especially for the first lap or so, because it is super slippery because of that difference in power now, if you have the traction on, lean out the fuel, use the boost a bit more sparingly perhaps, and just bob and weave around the other cars, you'll get tons of cash. So of course, for those who don't like using these methods, well, I would say, why did you click on the video? Because <laughs> I always wonder that when people comment, like, why click on a video like this in the first place? But for those who are new to the channel who would like alternative methods, I've already done tunes that you can use on the Lamar event, which is not a glitch, and you can earn 1.6 million an hour from that. And of course, there is the new method on Spa, the one hour endurance for a million credits, which I presume is 1.5 million after the bonus. So technically that's the worst of the three, but I know some people are enjoying that as kind of a fun little endurance on a new circuit. And I might even do some tunes for that track as well. So stick around on the channel for more. I am planning more Lamar tunes, maybe some Spa tunes. And of course we'll update stuff like this if it gets changed, altered or restricted in future patches as well. So until next time, I'll see you then. And for now, as always, Thanks for watching.